Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Declasse Drift Yosemite, which was released with the Casino Heist DLC. Now, as you can see, this vehicle is awesome, man. It looks like this from stock. <laughs> this is how it comes from stock, and I think it looks so fucking cool, man. And yeah, that white body looks awesome, man. I'm actually in love with this vehicle. I think it looks so freaking cool, man. Um, but without any further ado, let's get into it. Body armor, 100%. Brakes, race brakes. And for the bumper, front bumper. And we can delete the front bumper. Awesome. Uh, get the same with the chin. So, obviously, you've still got a bumper there. It's just removing the, the, you know, the metal chrome bumper. And we get the chin spoilers. And you can remove the number plate. And the same with the um, the splitters at the bottom. That looks really odd. Not a fan of that one. Um, I don't think a splitter would actually look good on this. Or the chin spoiler as they're calling it. Uh, yeah, I don't think that actually would look nice on this at all. I think the, uh, the smooth bumper looks awesome. Nice and clean. So I'm going to go with that. The rear bumper. So we get the rear bumper delete. I'm not going to do that because I've got a bumper at the front. And I think if I, was, if I was to do that at the rear, it'd look really odd. And I think it looks better with a bumper too. So I'm going to stay stock for the rear bumper. A little bit disappointed that we ain't got more options, but hey ho, is what it is. Engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts. Again, not very many options for the exhausts, which is disappointing really. And we can just get the, uh, the chrome tips instead of the titanium ones. Really, really disappointed with um, the lack of customization. Oh man. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more, to be fair. Anyway, we're going to go with a chrome tip exhaust because I think they look a little bit cleaner than the titanium. Then we've got the grill. Again, not many, very many options at all. So we've got the primary, uh, the secondary, the primary where the chromes the lights as well, and the secondary with the dechrome lights. Man, that's disappointing. <laughs> that is really disappointing. Uh, I'm going to go with the primary grill though. So next we're going to move on to the hood. We get the secondary hood, the rusted hood, the carbon hood, the ram air hood, and the secondary ram air hood. Again, not many options, and the options that we get are pretty weak. I think the stock, the, you know, the stock hood looks the best. What the fuck? So I'm going to stay stock for the hood. I'm really disappointed with the lack of customization in this game. Uh, in this game, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> in this game, but this vehicle in particular. I was hoping, well, I was, you know, I thought, man, this is going to be one of them vehicles where you can mod the shit out of it, and that really isn't the case at all. It was really, really disappointing. I mean, don't get me wrong, this vehicle looks awesome from stock. It looks so good. I, you know, you don't really have to change anything, but it would have been nice to have the option to, to, to change stuff, and uh, Rockstar just obviously haven't given it to us. The, the most customization that we've been able to do is the front bumper. Other than that, it's all been next to nothing. Or if it, if you could change it, it's worse than the stock variant of it. Really odd. But anyway, we're going to move on to the liveries. And we get the yellow flames, the blue flames. Um, heavily sponsored liveries. Again, but with the two tones. So we've got a dark cutout. We've got the Patriot. Uh, the rat rod that looks pretty sweet man it suits this type of vehicle and more patriotic ones more sponsorship liveries and yeah nothing spectacular some pretty cool ones in there if you want to you know change it up i think i might actually go with a flame livery mm, i don't know though it looks a little bit cheesy i suppose but that's you know that that rusted one actually looks quite good should i rust it I'm going to rat race it. What the fuck not. So that means I'm going to quickly go back to the bumper. And I'm going to remove the bumpers. Because they look too clean. Um, to have you know clean chrome bumpers. And then the rusted paintwork. So I'm going to remove the front bumper. I'm going to remove the rear bumper. And also for the grill. I'm going to de-chrome the grill. Because then obviously it doesn't look very clean. Uh, so I'm going to go with. Yeah, I'm going to go with the primary grill the chrome And then that brings us nicely down to the respray. So primary colour, I'm going to go into the matte because a shiny, rusty car doesn't look um, weird at all, does it? <laughs> so if you're going to have this livery, in my opinion, you have to go over a matte paint job because no, it's like 
glossy rust. It doesn't make sense. It's like you, you let your car rust and then lack it over the top of it. Makes no sense. So we're going to go with the matte. And I think we're going to go matte white actually looks pretty good. Um, oh, oh, I don't know. Midnight blue looks quite good too. There's some nice options on here, man. Desert tan looks the best, man. I think that looks awesome. So matte desert tan, definitely for the primary color. Secondary color, also go going to matte. And it is this bottom part. And I think changing that up to the same color as the primary, which is desert tan, looks awesome. So I'm gonna go, go with that. Next, we've got the roll cage. So we've got the standard roll cage, uh, the reinforced. That gives us something in the back. And we get the high roll bars. Um, I think, yeah, I thought I'm gonna go with the reinforced bed. I think that looks the best for the roof oh so we can cover the, the truck bed up but because that um, covers clean it don't really go with the flow of the car now oh but we can get a rusted one that's pretty sweet but then i think it looks better without so i'm gonna stay none for the roof spoiler uh oh so we can remove the tailgate that's pretty cool i like that oh my god <laughs> what the hell is this no don't put them wings on there man what's all that about um i <laughs> That's really odd because if we remove the tower gate, it gives us a, um, a traction increase. <laughs> Quite a big traction increase as well. But I don't think it looks as good as the... Oh, man. I'm, oh, I'm just going to stay none because I think it looks best. And looks is the way you got to do it, man. Because this is apparently a drift Yosemite, so I can't see it going to be amazing around a track. So, uh, yeah, I'm not worried about the traction. Suspension, we're going to slam it, man. We're going to get the competition suspension. Holy crap, that drops low. Damn. Yeah, competition suspension has got to be done. Sunstrip, we are... Ooh. That's a beaten up sunstrip. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be like one of them clean looking sunstrips. We're going to go with it, man. That looks awesome. Transmission, we're going to get a race transmission. And the bed liners. So we can rust the bed liner. That actually might work in our favor now. So if we go with a bed liner, the raised one, I think they look, yeah. So if we go with a raised bed liner, turbo, we're going to get the turbo tuning. For the wheels, oh man, I don't think we're going to change these. It's the same old story, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, them tyres look awesome, them wheels look awesome. Just the, the stock wheels that you get with new DLC vehicles are so good. It makes all these aftermarket wheels look shit. So uh, I'm going to stay stock for the wheels. And to finish off the build, did we get windows? Yeah, we do. Light smoke window tin, baby. Sweet as a nut. Let's get out on the streets and have a little peek at it. So as you can see, guys, this car looks so unique, man. It looks so awesome. Like I said, not blown away by the customization you can do, do to it because there's next to nothing. But um, luckily, we've got this um, rusted livery, which actually transforms the look of the car. And with that desert tan matte paint, it just looks so good. That wheel spin is ridiculous, though. That's like full throttle wheel spin. This is 100% fully fled. A drift car. This is no way going to go around a track in a straight line, man. <laughs> Traditional muscle car. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think it looks awesome, man. But if we have a quick comparison to the original Yosemite, you'll see that... It is exactly the same car, except for, like I said at the beginning, the uh, the Drift Yosemite's got the twin turbo sticking out of the hood. It's got the wide body, and it's got some lush wheels on it, even though the wheels are pretty much the same. Let's get out of this fucking thing. Yeah, so you can see the wheels are pretty much the same, but these ones are a little bit more deep dish, and they've got the big fuckaroo, or fukaroo, um livery or logo on the side of it as well and uh, yeah the drift yosemite is just amazing it just looks so good um but the original yosemite like i said at the beginning also i think that's the fastest muscle car in the game uh correct me if i'm wrong um but yeah i, I, I believe that is the title of fastest muscle car in gta is held by the yosemite um but yeah this drift yosemite is definitely not going to be the fastest car if you whack down full throttle straight away it will spin and spin and spin and just won't gather any traction for ages but if you kind of ease onto it 
it kind of works and um, it, it rolls off nicely and then you can pull down on the accelerator and then it just shoots off which is which is awesome um, oh my god this is definitely fast but it doesn't want to go around corners <laughs> it won't go around corners the conventional way you literally have to handbrake it around these corners look it's not turning man it won't it will not t oh my days this is difficult to control this um yeah this is 100 percent a drift car no way is this going to go around a track without spinning all over the place it's unique though you know it's it's a nice vehicle you don't get many of them in gta so it's nice that they've added you know cars that are different um i think that they should add a drift category though um, the same way as they've opened, um, they've um, give us the open wheel category. I think a drift category would actually be a lot nicer for this vehicle because you could never use this in a muscle car race. No way, because you want to go around a corner. That's just gonna you just go three sixty around that motherfucker, and um, yeah, it just won't compete. But it's awesome. I'm really happy with it. I love the way it looks from stock. Uh, this the little customization there is is pretty good. Um, it is fast in a straight line obviously traction is atrocious handling is atrocious unless you're good at drifting um, but it only costs 1.3 million dollars so it's not really breaking the bank it is still very expensive for what it is and it's largely unusable <laughs> in every other situation other than a straight line but um, it just looks awesome it's going to look sweet in anybody's car collection garage um, so yeah if you've got you know 1.3 million sitting around doing nothing buy it man it is pretty cool it looks awesome really fast in a straight line uh, it's just the uh, because it's a drift vehicle it just handles like a pig <laughs> unless you're good at drifting obviously traction just doesn't gather, gather traction for ages um but it's a good nice fun car to purchase and on that bombshell i'm going to end the video right there so i hope you guys did enjoy this one if you did please smash that like button and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios